Hi, this is Dan Hark here from Tremble Digital and you and I together are going to be hanging out for the next little while and what we are going to be doing is we're going to be inserting a PDF into the main menu here. Uh, in this case it's uh, going to be into our documents menu and uh, yeah you can see there's already quite a few in the menu screen. So what we're going to be doing is um, first off hopping over into the back end. Alright, so uh, very nicely for us, uh, the PDF has actually been already uploaded into the media library. Um, I'm sure you're very well skilled by now in how to upload anything there. Um, so um, the file that we're looking for specifically in this case is, uh, there it is, SWIC Risk Waiver. Now what we're looking for is we actually want the unique web address for this file. Um, the easiest way for us to get it is to come into the media library and uh, click edit next to the item itself. Um, the screen's going to update now, we're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that we can configure with the, the, the actual PDF, but it's none of that that what we, none of that is what we want. We actually just want the web address and um, we're just going to copy that. So control C to copy and um, then we can abandon this screen and we will head over to our, our appearance menu. And you probably spotted it quicker than I did. So under appearance, here's menus and uh, we're going to add a new menu item for this particular PDF. Um, okay, so uh, it's main menu that we want. Um, there's quite a few menus here. Some of them um, uh, shouldn't actually be here, but it's main menu that we need to select. Please make sure that this one it says main menu, and then we click select. And um, okay, so now um, I think you're aware of how the menu system works in WordPress and how these uh, indented items uh, come underneath, in this case, the documents menu. Um, we're going to add another indented item here. Alright, so um, we're not creating a new menu or anything like that. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new link. So I click links and um, the first thing it asks me is for the URL, which is good because we just copied that out of the media library for our particular PDF. So I'm just going to paste that in there, just like that. So control V. Very easy. Alright, so um, I just want to give the menu item a title now, and in this case it's Swick uh, Risk whoop, Risk Waiver, because it's dangerous work. And we're going to add to menu Hopefully there's not too many accidents, not enough to justify this, but um, you've got to cover your butt, I suppose. Um, so we've got our risk waiver here, and because I played this game before, I knew it was right at the bottom of the, 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 the menu. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drag it. So we click once, and we hold the button down, and we drag it up, and um, we'll put it at the end of the list. And um, we can see that because it's indented like this, it's going to come underneath the documents menu. If I was to shift it, drag it, and drop it, and uh, take it out of the indent, then that would make it a menu item by itself on the, the menu bar but uh, we want it under documents so we'll leave it there. Um, there are two settings that we need to configure just because we're playing the Swick game. Um, the first thing is um, this menu item should only be available for people who are logged in. Um, that's to say uh, Swick members so we're going to select that. It's only uh, available for logged in users and uh, the other thing that we're going to say is um, it should open in a new window or a tab because it's uh, opening a PDF and we want people to be, still have the, the SWIC website sitting there. So those are the two settings you should configure when you when you create a new PDF. Um, open link in a new tab and uh, logged in users only. Alright, and that pretty much seals the deal. Uh, I'm going to click Save Menu now and uh, we'll come back out to our homepage again and um, we're about to give ourselves a nice pat on the back. I'm just going to click Refresh now. and while we wait for that to refresh. Okay, so now we've got our documents menu and you can see here we've got SWIC Risk Waiver. So if I click that now, it opens up a new tab and it shows us our PDF, which is exactly what we were expecting. So well done us. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know and otherwise I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.